What up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Matt Wyatt. So I recently went out to go see this new film called Wonka that is co-written and directed by Paul Kane. In case you don't know who Paul Kane is, he's the same director that made Paddington 1 and 2, which was one of the most uh, underrated films they had directed. I encourage you guys to check it out. It's so damn good. I love them. And this movie is supposed to be taking place before the events of 1971's Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. And it's telling the story of the younger Wonka character who is a magician. He's a, a, and he's also an inventor. And he has a dream of creating a chocolate factory that would change the entire world. And it would bring everybody love and joy together until he discovers a, a, in a small town that is uh, owned by the uh, greedy cartel. And they're trying to run him out of town and to make sure that he isn't sell any chocolate to anyone not even the lower class of the poor people they want to sell chocolates that is more expensive that that the rich people would buy and one of the three main villains can't even say the word poor without vomiting i mean it sounds ridiculous on paper but when you watch the film in context it was actually pretty funny and i thought it worked and anyone can afford them even the the poor he doesn't like it when people say poor what? Now, before going into this movie, I was not that interested in seeing a prequel story of Willy Wonka. Because why in the hell do we want to have a backstory of Willy Wonka? Because we love the character that is so mysterious and that we didn't want to know too much that would ruin the character and that would contradict things. But you know what? I kept an open mind when Paul Kane was at the helmet directing the film. And then when we find out that Timothy Chalamet was cast as the younger Willy Wonka... It increased my excitement a lot more and I had more faith in this movie because Timothy Chalamet is an incredible world-class actor. He's one of the best actors working in Hollywood. He has a better acting agent because he is best known doing a lot of great dramatic roles that has Oscar level performance. And this is a bit of a change of pace for him as an actor to pick a role that is lighthearted and fun and something that we haven't seen him in before. But you know what? I've still kept an open mind and given the benefit of the doubt because he has not picked a lot of projects that were bad in particular. After coming out of Wonka, I'm not going to lie to you. I really love this movie. It was so much better than what I thought it would be. It was a charming, emotional, funny, delightful, heartfelt movie that I've seen in a while. I'm not going to say that this was like a Oscar contender movie, but it was still a fun film that the adults and kids can enjoy. And you could definitely take your family out to go see this movie. I'm someone that has grown up watching the 1971's Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder. What Gene Wilder had brought to that per performance was so incredible to the point where we don't imagine anybody else trying to play Willy Wonka. Because Gene Wilder really owned it, and he was, and his performance will still stand the test of time to this day. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was based on the book called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I remember back in elementary when my teacher used to read that the story to us back then, and then they took us on a field trip to that museum that was based on the book itself, and I had a great time going to that museum. Then back in 2005, Tim Burton made his own like variation of Willy of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I thought it was an okay film. I liked it. I didn't love it, and I definitely did not like Johnny Depp's portrayal as as Willy Wonka. He he strikes to me as more like a character that would murder children. I know that that's not what Tim Burton intended him to be, but I just didn't like how they portrayed him as a whiny, spoiled little brat that that just has a lot of daddy issues and he can't handle parents when he's around them, and he gets grossed out when every time he's around the parents and it's not Johnny Depp's fault that's just what Tim Burton wanted his character to be but whatever it is what it is I thought that the, this movie Wonka really brought the spirit of the original 1971's version sure the tone itself is not as it was from the original version of the film but you know what? I thought the writing was very good. I thought the, uh, Timothy Chalamet's portrayal as Willy Wonka was so damn good. He really owned it. He took the character, made it his own. Even though he recited some of the uh, the lines that was borrowed over from Gene Wilder's a uh, dialogue from Willy Wonka. So quiet up and listen down. Nope, scratch that, reverse it. Wait a minute, strike that, reverse it. Thank you. Time and so little to do. Strike that, reverse it. This way, please. He really took the character and made it his own. And they did his character justice. And I loved his portrayal as Willy Wonka. I really bought into it. And this movie itself felt like more of a self-contained story to the point where you don't have to watch the original 1971 uh, of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. 
you're not going to get lost and confused. It, it stands on its own and it had its own identity. It did have a little bit of a Paddington vibe to it. For those of you who have already seen his movies, it felt like the tone. But also, those the three main villains, I will say, that were really cartoony and a little over the top at times. And, and, and it didn't bother me. It was not enough to take me out of the movie. But I thought that they, they could have been handled a little bit better. And their motivation was so ridiculous and obscure that I just, uh, I didn't really care too much about that. But you know what? I thought that the, the, the pros outweighed the cons. And another negative that I have is that there wasn't enough of Hugh Grant's Oopa Loopa, which he doesn't show up until the halfway point of that movie. But when he's on screen, he really owned it. So you're the funny little man who's been following me. Funny little man? How dare you? I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. Oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Too late. I started dancing now. Once we've started, we can't stop. A role that I never thought that he would be caught dead playing an Oopa Loopa character. But you know what? He really sold it. The CGI did not bother me. The CGI actually worked. It really did not t pull me out of the movie. And I thought his portrayal as an Oopa Loopa was so good. He is a like a circ he's a, a very a smart ass, but very charming at the same time and likable. And the team up between him and Willy Wonka was so good. And later we meet up with this new character, Noodle, played by Kala Lane that they meet up in the hotel. They both are trapped as prisoners because they signed a contract that they have not have read. Now they have to spend time trying to navigate how to get out of there and basically do a prison break and come in and out whenever he goes out and tries to sell tr his inventions of, tr of candy. Do, Willie. Huh. Huh? Huh. A double huh. Get the pencil and paper. Uh-huh. I got an idea. And him and Noodle have a very much in common. They're both poor that doesn't have any family. And they're both looking for some closure and fulfilling their own dreams at the same time. And their screen time together was so incredible and emotional that I was never taken out of it. She never felt one dimensional or character mature. I loved her character and her backstory. It was so emotional. And also the, when we get into the backstory of Willy Wonka with, uh, with him and his mother that was played by Sally Hawkins, I got very teary eyed. He, his goal is not just bringing chocolate that would bring people together, but he also wanted to fulfill his promise to his mother after her passing. And I, and hoping that he, she, she would be present when he fulfill his dreams. Every good thing in this world started with a dream. So you hold on to yours. There we go, mama. And this is like this is a bit of a minor spoiler, and I'm sorry if I did it for those of you who have not seen the movie. But in the context of the film, it really brought tears to my eyes, and I thought it was very well executed. They didn't rely too much on his backstory, but they showed you enough to make us care and have a deeper impact when you get to the third act finale. And I thought Keegan Michael Key, who was playing the chief of police, who was teaming up with these three chocolate cartel, I thought he was going to be so ridiculous and very cartoony. But you know what? I thought he worked in the movie and i thought he was funny i thought he, he he was not he was not one of those characters that pulled me out of the movie now, overall this is definitely one of the best films i've seen all year now i'm not ready to say that this is going to be making into my top 10 list favorite films of the year i'm not ready to say that yet maybe when i watch it again maybe i might have it love it even more but i one of the things i want to mention is that i I thought some of the musical numbers were not all memorable and catchy. There were some of them that were great, and I loved them, don't get me wrong, but there were some of the musical numbers that it wasn't catchy enough, and it, it wasn't as memorable as it was from the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But they definitely played the song of pure imagination. Come with me, and you'll be in the world of pure imagination. They definitely played the song. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination and that's and that's just a bit of a minor spoiler but when you watch it in the context of the film it made you feel emotional and i got teary eyed and timothy chamay definitely sang the hell out of it and i never knew that timothy chamay could sing in this movie he did a great job. I, I give props to that guy. He really did a, a, amazing with that character. And I'm totally open if they want to do a sequel to this. If they want to do a standalone trilogy that revolves around Wonka, I'd be all for it. But if they don't, that's fine. Because this movie doesn't try to set up to for the as a franchise. They set this up to be a one-off story. And I thought they did great. And I thought they played it safe because you never know how much money this is going to make. What if this is not successful? 
and then that you're left unsatisfied of how they end the movie. But luckily, they did not. We had a definitive end to this movie, and this is a movie that I encourage you to, to take your family out to see it. This is a movie that adults and kids can enjoy. And if you're someone that really enjoyed the, the 1971's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I think you're, you really are going to enjoy this and get a kick out of it. After watching this film, you see the film a lot differently with Charlie Bucket's character that he wants, because Willy Wonka wants to find someone that reminds him of himself in Noodle. How did you like the chocolate factory, Charlie? I think it's the most wonderful place in the whole world. I'm very pleased to hear you say that, because I'm giving it to you. So who can I trust to run the factory when I leave and take care of the Oompa Loompas for me? Not a grown-up. A grown-up would want to do everything his own way, not mine. That's why I decided a long time ago that I had to find a child. A very honest, loving child. And it made perfect sense. And, and when I went back and watched the original film after coming out of this theater, I got even more emotional by the end of the original film. And it and it made and it, it would be such a great double feature for two of these movies. Guys, what did you think of Wonka? Did you do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? And if you haven't seen it, are you looking forward to it? Let, jump down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. And if you like this review, make sure you leave it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. I really appreciate your guys' support. I'm I'm love that my channel is growing, and I, I love you guys watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. You guys are awesome. Now I hope you guys have a great day, great evening, and I hope you guys have a great holiday because this weekend we're literally right around the corner for Christmas. So I hope you guys have a great holiday with your family, and I hope you guys stay safe and take care.